Hey guys, NintendoGen64 here, welcome you all back to Let's Play Crash Bandicoot 2 Cortex Strikes Back. <coughs> In the last episode, we defeated uh, Tiny Tiger down there, who was the third boss of the game, and now we're going to go into hanging out. So, yeah, this is the third sewer level of the game, and there's a box gem and a um, crystal, and there's also a six warp room thing here. Okay, the more janitors and more lab assistant -y guys from um, the lab in from the first game. And also they make the sound, uh, same scream sound when they die. Okay, yes, this part. You've got all these uh, janitor bot things coming up um, yeah, the side of the walls here, so just be ready to spin them. Uh, more sewer, uh, speedway kind of stuff here. Okay, make sure you don't fall down that hole, otherwise you can't get these boxes here. Okay, now we fall down the hole. Okay, so this is why it's called hanging out, I suppose. Because you actually do hang, kind of like, um, hang them high from Crash 3, I think, mean, yeah. Once again, more cool, cool music. Now, I actually had this, um, song stuck in my head earlier today for some reason. <coughs> I have no idea why, but I guess because I've... I was going, knowing I was going to LP this today, this level. Mm. Oh, and oh my god, thank you. Oh, buddy, beautiful. This is um kind of tricky. Yeah, I'd say it's probably the most tricky um sewer level. Oh, when I'm dead. That's fine. That's fine. I don't care. So what's this, part 21, I think? Part 20... I'm pretty sure it's 21. I don't know. And today is the uh, 22nd of October. But I know I shouldn't say the dates because of like... Oh, five episodes of Crash 2 already recorded. So, yeah. I guess that's how far ahead I recorded or something. Because these levels are kind of short. Okay, that's gonna explode. Okay, so you can just jump over these guys. Do they have exhaust pipes in that back or something? I don't know. I just don't know, dude. Okay, more hanging. Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna do the um six warp room level. It's um it's actually totally fly is what level you can get from going in this place. I'm actually, sh well, I'll, I'll kind of show it, but, um, I'll probably go there in the next part. Or actually, I might show in the end of this part how to get there. Yeah, that's what we'll do, so. I don't know why the bottom of this is heated up, but okay. I'll just go with it. It is crashed too, so this makes sense. Okay. Yeah, he's at 43 boxes, that's about right, I think. So if you actually come back here, that's and you fall down there, that's where the um level total fly is. Oh, and a bonus. Throw me a frickin' bonus again. I don't know which one this is. I'm not sure. I can't remember which ones I've actually done and which ones I've watched other people do. Yeah, somehow you can get those from just jumping and body slamming, I don't really know. Okay. This Nitro Curry is trying to make this look threatening, but it really isn't. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Whoa, man! 
Did you see me Wampa Fruit we fucked up there? Jesus Christ. Holy crap, I can't believe I actually did that first try and way to lose the Echo Echo. And way to die. After such an awesome performance in the uh, bonus level. Man, I can't believe I actually... Oh my god, I've never done that first try before. Okay. Oh, and he's playing his didgeridoo. And great, I just wasted all my lives I got from the bonus level. That's fine. Die, rat. Die, gel genetically modified rat. Not really genetically modified, but robo Oh, wow, that was a big explosion. Oh, end of the level already. There we go. That's perfect. Okay, then I'm going to go back in the level and show you guys how to get to, um, Totally Fly. Which I actually had no idea how to, that Totally Fly even existed. I didn't even know what the, um, last sixth walking level was. Which, uh, shows how much I pay attention in this game. Oh, also, I forgot to mention that, um, yeah, I know why Cortex didn't talk to me at the beginning of this walkthrough, because then, like I said, I didn't watch the, um, cutscene, I just pretty much downloaded it from YouTube, pretty much. Um, but he actually says he's going to talk to you at the end of this walkthrough, so... For those of you who like Clancy Brown's voice, I'm afraid you're going to have to hold out till we finish this walkthrough. Yeah, that time I thought that guy was a bit late, because Robo Janitors. I should really stop calling them that, but that, I don't know, that's just better. That's what they look like to me. Okay, so it's kind of like halfway through this level. I could cut to it, but like I said, it's a let's play. I'm gonna show all gameplay here. I'm not cut anything unless it gets too pathetically pathetic, I guess. I fail too much in case I do that. But um, so far it's not looking too bad. I know I'm much better than what I was at the beginning of this LP somehow, and I haven't actually been practicing at all. I guess I. I mean, well, I had I was actually like normally going through for a playthrough of this game at the beginning of the year in um the end of the holidays, the summer holidays, but um yeah, I kind of didn't play it for like a few months. But actually, before I um started the playthrough at the beginning of the year, I um don't think I played this game for like three or four years. So yeah, because Crash Two surprisingly does not have much replay value. No, why don't I die then? And what I mean by replay value is like, once you've finished the game, there's not that much to do, you know, except for getting gems and stuff, but that can get old fast. That's why I suggest getting gems as you go, rather than holding out till you finish the game. Just so you, I guess you're playing the game longer or something. And taking away the need to replay, so therefore getting rid of the horrible replay value the game has. Like, Crash 3 has pretty good replay value. I mean, you can, um, go to all those time, the, like, challenges, I guess. It's pretty fun. If you're, like, getting really frustrated, which, I mean. Okay, so I'm gonna get the checkpoint just in case I die here. And I'm gonna fall down this hole. Okay, so here's where you're gonna have to use the, um, circle function on your controller. Or if you're emulating this on your keyboard, I suppose. So yeah, you're gonna have to... Like, I had no idea you could actually do that for ages. See, yeah, if you let go. That happens. I had no idea you could actually do that for a long, long time. I didn't even know you needed to do it, actually. That's probably why I didn't do it. Hmm. This is kind of nerve-wracking, actually. Every, every time he comes under, you pretty much just press circle. Or when you know he's gonna come, you press circle. Okay, this guy's a bit faster. But nothing old Crash can't do. Okay. You know how Americans say can't instead of can't? And how, um, pronounce their vowels, like, quicker? I was wondering, in an average lifetime, how much time longer do you think we spend speaking than Americans? Because, um, they say their words a lot faster than we do. You know, with their flat... No, we have flat vowels, they have... Um, I don't know what you call it, but... Yeah, I was just wondering about that. 
So there's totally like fly, you know, totally. I don't know why they call it totally, but okay. So we've got one thing left to do in the uh, sixth warp room. Actually, we've got two. We've got to do totally fly. Then we've got to unlock. That's our road to ruin there, level 14. But um, I'm running out of time here, and um, I wasn't gonna plan to do totally fly in this part. So I'll see you all next time when we go into totally fly and hopefully not fail as much as we did in totally bear. Alright, see you guys.